You're listening to Confidence with Katie, a podcast created for ambitious, savvy women who are ready to embrace their inner badass. If you're ready to figure out exactly what you want and how to get there, well, I want you to jump on in and join me, public speaker, executive coach, fire starter, and your podcast host, Katie Langford. Hello, fabulous. I'm Katie, and I just want you to know how happy I am that you are here today for Confidence with Katie, episode number 13, saying yes. I truly believe because there is only one you, that the one and only you is destined for greatness. I don't know what your greatness looks like. Maybe your greatness is within your family or your friends. Maybe your greatness shows up in your workplace, your professional life, the business that you're trying to build. Maybe your greatness is within your community or in your state. Maybe your greatness, it's going to stretch all the way across the globe. I don't know what your greatness is, but I know that it will include doing things that make you nervous. It'll include doing things that you're scared of doing. It will include doing things that you don't really want to do because it's going to push you out of your comfort zone. But. In order to step into your greatness, you are going to have to do it. And that means saying yes. Today, I'm going to give you the four questions you should ask yourself before saying yes to any opportunity. But before we get into all of that, let me share our badass inspiration of the week. Today's badass, well, it's you. You inspire me. Four years ago, I was sitting in my corner office absolutely miserable. I had this nagging feeling that something else existed for me. There was something else I was supposed to be doing, something else that I was meant for. It would take me four more months before I quit. It would take me an additional seven months to really dig in and figure out exactly what I wanted to pursue. And even in those three years, I'm constantly finding myself doing new things and saying yes to new things. Here is what I know. I believe that we were meant to be in relationships with other human beings. And what I'm trying to do, I cannot do alone. I think that what you're trying to do, you cannot do alone. Know that you inspire me every day single day. You inspire me to be bold. You inspire me to be brave. You inspire me to be confident, to be authentic, and to share my story. So thank you. Thank you for being the badass that you are. Thank you for listening to our our content, listening to Confidence with Katie. Thank you for following us on Facebook and on Instagram for sending us messages and notes. When you see me in person for saying, oh my goodness, I listened to this podcast and it totally opened my eyes. Thank you for sharing it with your friends. Thank you for just being the ambitious, savvy women that you are that helps me step up my game every single day. Thank you. And I think Sir Richard Branson said it best. He said, Surround yourself with people who bring out the best in you. So thank you for bringing out the best in me. And let's be honest. I think Sir Richard Branson is um, pretty awesome himself. And he's all about saying yes. And I think he sums it up perfectly when he says, if someone offers you an amazing opportunity, but you're not sure you can do it, say yes, and then learn how to do it later. So Let's talk about saying yes. Since the start of 2019, I have had dozens of conversations with ambitious women just like you about this idea of saying yes. What I think is interesting is that we as women, we tend to say yes to a lot of things. And so today's conversation isn't about saying yes to everything. It it really isn't. Sometimes we say yes out of guilt Sometimes we say yes because we think that if we don't, 
other people won't like us. Sometimes we say yes because it's the perception that we should. That's not the kind of yes that I want to talk about. Let me take it a step further. What if we don't just say yes to everything? What if we also have to learn how to say no? Now, I know the title of this is saying yes, but just hang in there with me for a minute. Several episodes ago, I told you about hearing Ava DuVernay at a luncheon, and she says that she says yes to opportunities and people that get her closer to her dreams and goals. She also said she says no to things that don't. Last night, I was having this conversation with a friend, and she said that her word of the year is yes, but she decided that if it's not a hell yes for her, then it's a big no. You know, a few days ago, we had our Confidently Rock Your 2019 live workshop here in Dallas, and I invited a friend of mine to speak. I wanted her to tell her story. Now, before I tell you her story, just know that we can do this live workshop in any city. So if you want me to travel to come see you and do this workshop, email us at info at katielangford.com. Message us on Facebook under Coach Katie or send us a DM on Instagram because we want to get this live workshop into as many hands and in front of as many people as possible. So I digress. Let me go back to my friend. I had a friend tell her story. And what I loved about Alana's story was that she said she said yes, even when she was terrified to do it. But every time she said yes, It was totally in alignment with her goals and her dreams, where she wanted to go, what she wanted to accomplish, and what she wanted to build. So what if we don't need to say yes to every single opportunity that presents itself in front of us? What if we need to be so clear on our goals and dreams and desires that we only say yes when it is in full alignment? What would that look like for you? What would you be able to say no to? And how would it feel to say no to things that weren't in complete alignment? And how great would it be to say yes to things that were in full alignment? Now, before you can say yes to what you want, you got to figure out what you want. And if you are still totally foggy and fuzzy and you don't know what you want, I want you to go back to episodes number two and three. Those episodes are all about helping you get clarity. They're about helping you figure out exactly what you want. They're about getting you to determine what your definition of success looks like. They're not only great podcasts, but we give you great free resources exercises that you can download and do they're going to get you out of your head out of that foggy and fuzziness and help you get that clarity and once you have that clarity you can start to say yes now I want to take a right for just a minute I want to share a little bit about my story Now, I think there's this misconception out there that I have it all together and that I know exactly what I'm doing I talk with friends and people who are clients and people who are listening to our podcast and they're like, oh my gosh, Katie, you have it all together. Y'all, that could not be further from the truth. I would love to tell you that I had it all together, but I don't. I absolutely don't. In fact, we talked about that when we talked about perfection being a myth just, I think, three episodes ago, number 10. I don't have it all together. And in fact, there's a lot of times when I want to say no. I want to say no because I am nervous and I am scared. I want to say no because it is going to push me so far out of my comfort zone that I know that it's going to be uncomfortable. But I also know that I have real true clarity on what I want to do and what I want to accomplish. So Know that I don't have it all together. I just have my life with my lens. And from that, I just want to share my stories with you 
and share my experiences, the experiences I have with my clients to help you. But I do know this, even though I am not perfect and I don't have it all together, I do say yes to things when I'm not 100% confident about it. And I want to share just a few of the things that I said yes to in 2018 and tell you how they impacted me. You know, the first thing I did is I took on more one-on-one clients that I had ever taken on in my business. And you know what I learned? I took on too many. One-on-one clients are amazing. I love working with the right clients. But not everyone's the right client for me. Some people are better suited with a different coach. And I'm better suited when I can help a lot more people. What's another thing I said yes to in 2018? Learning to play golf. I don't know why I decided I would take up golf in 2018. It is the most frustrating sport in the world as far as I'm concerned. But I am having so much fun and I am learning so much about myself. And I'm realizing that it is so much mind over matter. It is staying consistent with my game. It is not getting upset when shots go bad. And it is not getting so high when shots go great, but being able to just keep playing. What else did I do? Well, I knew if I wanted to take my business to the next level, I needed to get more help. So I hired a marketing strategist. I hired a trainer that helps me work out two to three times a week. I agreed to chair the Junior League of Dallas auction party. Y'all, I hadn't fundraised in four years. I walked away from that career, but I knew that that was something that I could do to help my community and that I wanted to be able to do. Something else I did that I said yes to, even when I was super nervous and oh my gosh, uh, I can't believe this is happening. I said yes to being the keynote at a national women's conference. I said yes to firing a client when they weren't the right fit. I said yes to starting the podcast. I said yes to starting an online masterclass. I said yes to going to South Africa for 15 days with one of my dearest friends and her daughters. That trip alone helped change me and see the world in a way that I had never experienced before. It helped me get really clear. It helped me figure out what I wanted to do and how how I wanted to take advantage of the last quarter of the year. Saying yes to that, saying yes to my marketing strategist, they also led me to saying yes to applying to give a TEDx talk and having that conversation and then being able to give the TEDx talk. You know, when Liz, my marketing strategist, and I were talking about it when that opportunity first arose and we started talking about what it is that I would want to speak about, I looked at her and said, I have nothing to talk about. I I don't even know what I would talk about. She looked at me. I'll never forget this. We're sitting in a coffee shop in Dallas. And she looked at me and said, are you serious? You have so much to talk about. Saying yes to that opportunity, y'all, that has led to so many more opportunities for 2019. Here's what I know about saying yes to these opportunities. I learned so much in 2018. Things that I used to dream about for my business are actual reality. People I have met along the way really are helping me live my best life and me Living my best life means that I can pour more into you, you, the people that I want to help. I feel stronger than I have in years, both physically and mentally. I'm having absolutely so much fun with new challenges. These opportunities have led to conversations which have led to great people and more opportunities. I share all of this with you, not to impress you, but to impress upon you that saying yes can move you forward. Saying yes can change your life. Saying yes can be rewarding. Saying yes can help turn your dreams 
into your reality. So that brings us to when should you say yes? And I, as I told you at the beginning of the podcast, I'm going to give you four questions. Four questions that any time that you have an opportunity to say yes, I want you to go through these four questions. They're just four questions. It's super simple. But these four questions will be your litmus test. They will be your guide and help you determine whether it's a yes or a no. First question. Will saying yes to this help me get closer to my goals and dreams? If so, say yes. Will saying yes give me the opportunity to learn something that I need to learn? If so, say yes. Is the only reason I want to say no because I am scared? Say yes. Am I saying yes for other reasons, which really are reasons to say no? then guess what? Say no. Also, no is a complete sentence. There does not need to be an explanation. Just no. Say thank you if you want. No thank you if you want. But know that even thank you isn't necessary either. Seriously, say no. What do you need to say yes to in 2019? The next time that an opportunity comes up to give you the chance to say yes, use these four questions. Will saying yes to this help me get closer to my goals and dreams? Will saying yes to this give me opportunity to learn something that I need to learn? Is the only reason I would say no is because I'm scared? Am I saying yes for other reasons, which really are reasons to say no? My goal is always to serve you and add value to your very important life. If you're loving Confidence with Katie, will you do me a favor? Will you subscribe on iTunes or whatever listening app you use to listen to your podcasts? Will you rate us? Will you leave a comment? And would you share our podcast with a friend? See, Doing all of these things, subscribing, rating us, leaving a comment, sharing with a friend, these help us reach more ambitious, savvy women just like you. And it helps us fulfill our mission to inspire, motivate, and impact the lives of women just like you. Go say yes. Say yes to the things you need to say yes to. Crush your 2019 goals. Thanks for listening to Confidence with Katie. I hope the episode helped you feel more empowered to take control of your dream life and dream career. Go start igniting those fires and embrace your inner badass. Until next time, badasses.